Right guys, welcome to the channel again. Thought I'd do a little video really. I've got um, a couple of these <coughs> uh, cat collars, I think they are. You know, they picked them up from like, I don't know, Home Bargains or somewhere, 50p. And um, yeah, it's obviously like the nylon webbing stuff. I think it's high, uh, got the fizz, high vis on it as well. Little bells on it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make a couple of terry collars or terry locator collars out of this stuff got some old clips here i do prefer like the old um the old fred uh fred catch really i've not got much faith in these clip ones so yeah i just thought i'd do a little video really i've got a couple of little spare locators and um yeah just going to make them up see how they go like I said, I would tend to prefer these these collars or these clips. As you can see, a little bit of pressure. And I'll just pull out, but so yeah. There you go, there you go. Got some holes in it. So there we go. Some updated collars. My old man's actually done one for a ferret, obviously a lot shorter. But um this stuff being nylon it is hard wearing and it doesn't well it never rots like leather you can see the old leather one getting a bit cracked here and there but there we go easy as that it cost me i think they were about a pound each or something out of the bucket and um yeah a bit of thread a couple of tools in a half an hour an hour top to good em.
there you go just a few rated colors for the dogs for the winter um you can go mad and buy obviously new buckles and stuff even put bells on them <clears throat> and um little slider clips you know and stuff like that but i figure the less that they have on the less they can get caught when they're in the boots and stuff so well yeah hopefully they should last a while now so there you go something for you to watch